this dynamic programming was uh, created by the US mathematician uh, Richard Bellman in 1950s. So dynamic uh, programming is a general algorithm design technique for solving problem defined by recurrence with overlapping sub problem. Uh, meaning here, uh, dynamic, dynamic programming is used to solve a problem uh, that has the sub problem on it. When problem break down into recurring uh, small independent sub problem, when the uh, then the solution can be recursively described in terms of solution to sub problems. Uh, okay, uh, this uh, technique uh, anyway used to used in uh, optimization, uh, optimization problem. Uh, uh, this uh, method, this technique. Uh, is more efficient than brute force method. So for point row problem explanation, there is a row of n coins, which is a number, whose value are some positive integer, which is uh, coin 1, coin 2, and until coin n. And it is not necessarily distinct, means it can be the same number. So the goal is to pick up the maximum amount of the money subject to the constraint that no two coins adjacent in the initial row can pick up. So once you pick up one coin, the other adjacent of the coin can be picked up again. So after this, we can see about the example of coin row problem. To solve coin row problem using 3D algorithm, here we have 6 coins, which is 6, 2, 9, 11, 7, and 4. So we create 7 for them. Next, we find the highest value, uh, which is 11, and choose the next value to 8, which is 9 and 7. Then, we will discuss the value 9 and 7. Uh, next, we will find the next highest value, after 11, which is 6. Then, we choose the next value to 8, which is 2, and discuss it. After that, we find the next highest value of the seed, which is the only left value is 4. Finally, we will find the maximum amount, which is 6 plus 11 plus 4, and uh, the total is 21. Okay, for the solution, uh, we got coins 6, 2, 9, 11, 7, and 4. Okay, for the F0, we just put 0 because there is no comparison. Okay, we put the zero. Okay, then uh, for F1, it is equals to C1. The six is input in the index one. Okay, then for F2, we need to take the previous uh, F, which is six, and compare with the current coin, which is two, and plus with the uh, zero because we cannot pick the adjacent value of the current coin. So 2 plus 0 is 2, compare with 6, and we got 6 because 6 is greater than 2. Okay, then we be, we put the 6 on the index 2. Okay, then for F3, we need to compare with the previous F2, which is 6, and compare with the current coin, which is 9, plus with 6, cannot take the adjacent value, 6 plus 9 equals to 15 compared with 6, 15 is greater. Okay, then 15 uh, will be picked for the index 3. Okay, next for F4, we take 15, the previous F, compared with 11 plus 6, which is 17. Compared with 15, we got 17, 17 is greater. Okay, 17 will be put in index 4. Then it will do it again. 17 compared with 21, which is 15 plus 7, and 21 will be picked. 21 uh, is in in the index 5. Okay, then we uh, compare again 21. About this time, 21 equals to 21. Then it just put because it is equal. Okay, put inside of index 6. Okay, that's all. The final value is 21, the, which is the max value. Thank you. So, for the conclusion, there is an integer array that consists only a positive number. 
then the objective is to find the maximum possible sum of element so that there are no two consecutive elements in the sum. To solve the coin rule problem, we need to use the dynamic programming. So dynamic programming works particularly well for optimization problem with inherit left to right among element. The result global optimum often much better than solution found with heuristic. And once understood, dynamic programming is usually easier to work from, out from scratch than to look up algorithm. Okay, so that's all from us. I hope that you guys can understand what our my friend trying to explain about coin roll problem. Thank you.